Tonight, Pine Bluff police are searching for a second suspect in a deadly shooting from last weekend. 17 year old Kylan Bede is one of two people accused of killing one person and hurting another on East Lake Drive last Saturday. We're choosing to show his photo because he is wanted for capital murder. If you see him, you're asked to call police. That deadly shooting is just one in a recent string of violent crimes the city is dealing with. This afternoon, Pine Bluff police held a press conference to address what's being done. THV 11's Brooke Buckner was there along with parents and community members who want answers. Yeah, Faith, what started out as an update from police turned emotional this afternoon. The police chief began by sharing details about six homicides that happened between May 7th and July 16th. Once she finished, family members of victims expressed their concerns. It's like a dark cloud over Pine Bluff. I don't really know what's going on. Angela Brown Jacko wants to know who killed her son, Kendron Hicks, in February. But that's not the only reason she attended the Pine Bluff Police Department press conference on Friday. But my son is not the first person. She's one of several voicing their concerns about a recent string of violence in the city. She says the two biggest changes she wants to see are more lights in certain parts of the city and more programs for young people to get involved in. And I feel like they need to do something about it. Mayor Shirley Washington and Police Chief Denise Richardson say they're putting in the work to make those improvements and are focused on curbing crime, especially with the youth. Our hearts are broken over the loss of lives that we've experienced. It's unacceptable. It's unexcusable. In January, the city hired someone to address youth crime. Mayor Washington says it's a boots on the ground approach to connect with families and provide resources in hopes of decreasing youth crime. This will include jobs, workforce training, mentors, and even mental health resources. It's been a violent summer for teens so far in the city, and Chief Richardson says although they've made several arrests in the recent homicides, there's still a lot more work to do. We are constantly trying to figure out ways to address the problem without being heavy handed and also be able to help the kids that we still can reach. The mayor invites anyone who wants to get involved with the city's group violence intervention program to attend the town hall meeting August 22nd. You can find more details on THV11.com.